The Legion Go 2 is one of the few PC handhelds that I have a soft spot for, and one of the most unique PC handhelds out there. So when I saw the leaks that they were making a Legion Go 2 and another model of the Legion Go, I had to talk about it. And if you like this video or any other video I've made, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. And check out my podcast, Off the Console. It's a cool new podcast where we talk about video games, technology, multimedia, and all sorts of other cool nerd stuff. You can find full episodes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube, with YouTube having exclusive short clips as well. For those who don't remember, the Legion Go is a PC handheld that Lenovo made, and it's their first foray into this market, and it features a number of unique features. A kickstand, removable controllers, and the right controller can become a sort of mouse, allowing you to essentially play games with a mouse, like FPSs and whatnot. The display is high resolution, albeit not OLED, but it still looks pretty nice for an LCD. These days, I do find myself using the Legion Go as more of a tablet and laptop replacement than a true PC handheld, but it does play games pretty well if you drop the resolution. But it's been a little over a year since I've had my Legion Go, and it's been a pretty neat little device. But now we're hearing about a new successor to the Legion Go. This is what the Legion Go 2 is supposed to look like. Yes, it looks very similar to the Legion Go, but it looks a little more rounded, and I will admit the Legion Go was a little bit too boxy. It does look better for ergonomics, but we won't really know until we, well, hold it in our hands. And yes, it looks like the controllers detach, and yes, it looks like you can use this in mouse mode as well. It retains all of its unique features, which is excellent. To be honest, we don't really know much about this device, but what we do know is that according to The Verge, the original file names of these images mention OLED. So is this like a Lenovo Legion Go OLED? Because let's be real, OLED is a game changer. OLED is in my opinion just that much better than LCD, and while the Legion Go's LCD looked really nice, it's still no OLED at the end of the day. But aside from the change designs and also a potential OLED screen, we really don't know much about this device. I mean, we don't even know what processor this is supposed to come with, and that's like the number one thing we want to know. Well, that and battery life too. The prevailing theory for performance is that this is going to be using a Z2 Extreme, which is supposed to be, all things considered, a straight upgrade. By most estimations, people are expecting the Z2 Extreme to be a 16 to 19% performance increase on the GPU side of things. But we won't know until we actually get Z2 Extreme benchmarks. But I do have some questions. First and foremost, will Lenovo do what Asus did for the ROG Ally X and give us a bigger battery and increase the RAM? The ROG Ally X has 24 gigs of RAM. Modern AAA games are becoming more and more power hungry to the point where 8 gigs of VRAM may not be enough anymore. Now, I'm not saying Lenovo should put 32 gigabytes of RAM in their Legion Go 2, but what I am saying is I wouldn't mind it. On the battery side of things, the ROG Ally has proven itself to be the one true battery king and the undisputed champion, and nothing else even comes close. Yes, that includes a Steam Deck OLED. Should the Legion Go 2 rock an 80 watt hour battery like the ROG Ally X? Should it go all the way to the limit, to like 99 watt hours? Of course, the big concession for this would be that the device would just have to be a little bit thicker. Or maybe they could find more dense batteries that fit the same profile, but that's probably unlikely. So we may not know anything about the device, but what we do know is that CES is just around the corner in January, and that Lenovo is probably going to show up. I certainly feel like they're going to show off this supposed Legion Go 2. But not just that, but also this other Legion Go device. I've talked about the Legion Go S in a prior video, and from what the leak suggests, it's going to be a Legion Go but without detachable controllers or a kickstand or even the mouse mode. So it's basically just a regular PC handheld. What is interesting though is that we got a new render of the Legion Go S showing this peculiar little icon here. A Steam logo? This render here is shared by the same leaker that leaked the Lenovo Legion Go 2. And as you recall, recently Valve unveiled some brand guidelines. And one of the included sections, of course, were for devices powered by SteamOS. So the insinuation here is that the Lenovo Legion Go S would in fact be powered by SteamOS. Which is crazy because I made that very same prediction in that very same video. What does this have to do with SteamOS? Nothing. Except I'm gonna make a conspiracy theory here. What if Lenovo wants to ship this with SteamOS? Now that's a crazy thought now, wouldn't it? Would you buy one of these if it came with SteamOS? I might. Maybe. I don't know, actually. Now, I'm not gonna pretend like I don't like tooting my own horn here. 
I did predict this a little over 10 days ago, actually. Now, if you recall, we were looking at a white version of the Lenovo Legion Go S, and it didn't have that icon there, the Steam icon. Does this mean the Legion Go S will have two different variants? One that presumably runs Windows and one that presumably runs SteamOS? And will these two versions of the Legion Go S have other differences besides the OS? Like will the price be different? And let's say, for example, someone buys the Windows version, like the version that comes with Windows, but then they want to switch over to SteamOS. Could they just install a Legion Go S specific image for SteamOS? And for those wondering, what is SteamOS? Well, SteamOS is the operating system that the Steam Deck uses. It's a Linux-based operating system that puts Steam first and foremost. It gives it a more gamified OS, and more importantly, it has game scope, which gives it more of that console feel than whatever you can get on Windows. Like, no matter how you set up Windows, it's not going to be anywhere near as consoleized as SteamOS with GameScope implemented. Now, none of this is explicitly confirmed, but all of this was leaked, and so the probability of this being real is a little over 50% true. I mean, remember, the original Legion Go itself was leaked. Now, while we're here and we're talking about Lenovo devices with SteamOS, Will the supposed Legion Go 2 have a version with SteamOS pre-installed, or at least support for SteamOS? Is that something Valve can do? Will Lenovo be releasing a SteamOS version of the official Legion Go 2? Because that would be kind of sick, actually. Like a sort of Steam Deck OLED 2. That would be pretty awesome. And if SteamOS is coming to all of these different devices, does that mean Valve will work to optimize all of these devices for SteamOS? Okay, admittedly, I am just ranting now, but I mean, the fact that we have an actual big manufacturer working with Valve supposedly is a great sign of things to come. Like I expected one of the Asian PC handheld manufacturers like Aya Neo or GPD to work with Valve first. I wasn't expecting Lenovo to do it, but hey, that's pretty cool too. And I know Lenovo has watched my videos in the past, so I will say this. Lenovo, if you're watching this video, Please give us a SteamOS version of the Legion Go 2, the one that has the OLED screen, because that would be so cool. And I don't know, maybe double the battery life in RAM too, okay? Thanks. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high-tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.